god, you actually answered on the first ring for the first time ever. I kind of had a feeling you would because you've literally been texting me nonstop all week. So I can tell you what else happened. It's been a long week. Okay, I haven't been able to get away and like actually get into this. But we're going to get into it today because when I tell you, when I tell you this man is so bold, I'm actually kind of, I'm actually like kind of sick of myself that I fell for some of these things. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kinda surprised that you're actually alone right now, dude. Like, for the first time ever, you don't have a guest. Good for you. Um, oh, you have someone coming over later. Which one? Anyway, that's not why we're here. So anyway, before I get into it, do you remember what happened last time? Do I need to give you a recap? Okay, so basically, you remember my husband, he's cheating. He has, like, a whole nother family with a whole nother child, remember? I, I swear, it's like I'm talking to a wall every time I call you. He has a whole other child. So last time, I told you I was gonna, like, basically expose him and tell him that I know what he's doing. But then I decided that I wasn't gonna do that. So then he told me he had a business trip, so I followed him to his business trip. I followed him to his business trip, but he really went to his other wife's house, like, two hours away. And I DM'd the wife, and I was like, hey, like, can we meet up? Like, I think we live in the same area, remember? I was like, I think we live in the same area. Um, like, I think we would be, like, really good friends. Like, do you want to meet for coffee? So we met up, and she knew, and I knew, when we both knew when I asked her, like, would you, like, you know, what's tea? Like, what do you want to do? And she was like, I kind of want to, like, milk this a little bit so we can get all the details. And I was like, yeah, I kind of do, too. So that's what we decided that we were going to do. You don't remember? You remember? Okay. All right. All right. You're about to meet me. You're about to meet me mad. I know Jordan was over last time and you were a little bit distracted, but like, I'm going to need you to pay attention. I'm going to need you to pay attention. Okay. Hold on. I'm starving. I'm literally starving because I've been doing nothing but like investigative journalism for like the past week. But anyway, do you remember last time? Last time when we met for coffee, she kept calling him Charles. She kept calling our husband Charles. And I was like, why do you keep calling him Charles? Like, our husband's name is Michael. And she was like, babe, our husband's name is Charles. His middle name is Michael. And I was like, no, 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 his middle name is Charles. His first name is Michael. Anyway, I thought, what I thought was that she and like on my on my marriage license it says michael on our marriage license it says charles so i was like first of all he can't be obviously legally married to two people like that's literally not a thing like you can't do that so i was like something fishy is going on He's, he used two different names so i was like okay well which one is his actual real name because which one is his actual real name because obviously, like, whoever the fake name is, he's not actually married to that person. So, anyway, before I get into that, we ended up deciding that we were going to just try and keep in contact and communicate. That way we can figure out, like, what was actually going on. We, we decided that we weren't going to say anything. Which, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like her. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of like her. I know that that's, like, a risky game but the first thing when we like can talked about like this stuff and I told her like oh wow I, this girl called me remember I was saying that their child that they have together he accidentally like I guess he accidentally put my name down as like a parent or whatever or guardian so when she wasn't in school they called me and I was like I don't have kids like we don't have kids and they were like yeah your husband has your name and this is your kid and I was like oh my husband's kid all of a sudden my husband has a kid anyway so I told her about how the school called me and she was so upset that my name was down. Like she was ready to cut out the da da, you know what I mean? I thought I was just jumping the gun because I was ready to cut out the da da. She was ready to cut out the da da too. I was like, I kind of like you for that. Anyway, so we had decided that we were going to play cool. Just kind of play it off, not really say anything. Which I felt so bad for her because he told me that he was on a business trip. She was the business trip and he was like yeah i'm gonna be gone for like four three four days 
so that means that she was stuck in, in that house with them for three or four days knowing everything that she knows everything that we know by like at this point i was like i kind of feel really bad for you that you have to like be stuck in that house with that man and she was like it's fine like i just want the truth and i was like i feel you so we decided that we weren't gonna say anything she went back home we exchanged numbers and everything like that she went back home i went all the way back home i drove all the way home i had got a hotel I drove the two hours to where she lived, but then I was like, you know what? I'm not staying here. Like, I'm gonna go home. This is the perfect time to like look around the place and see like what's going on, you know? So I was like, no, I'm just gonna go home.
so she didn't text me back right away then like a little bit later a little bit later she said that she found some document and a little bit later she said that she found some document and on the document it said michael bailey on it like michael as in his first name and then c bailey so she was like, yeah, I guess we're not the ones that are actually married because technically his name is not Charles, it's Michael. And she sent me a picture of the document that she had. And I was looking at it and I was like, okay, yeah, that's like the same like license, driver's license number that I have, like all that good stuff. And then I was kept looking at the document that she sent over and I was like, what's that little number at the bottom of the page? Like, can you show me that number at the bottom of the page? And she was like, yeah, hold on, I'll send you a picture. She sent me a picture of, like, the full paper. This little number at the bottom of the page was his social security number. His social security number. Tell me why. There's a copy of his social security number in that document that I found in his office, like, in that paperwork in his office. His social security number was on that paper as well. Tell me why it's two different social security numbers. I'm not even joking. I can't even make this up. Two different social security numbers on the paperwork. I literally had to sit down. I had to sit down. I started trying to come up with like like reasonable explanations in my mind. I was like, okay, maybe he worked for like the CIA. And he like he's like undercover or something like maybe this, this identity is like for work girl i i was trying to think of all types of stuff because i was like there's no way i football married someone and i don't know who the fuck did i mean like at this point i'm like should i call the police like it's one thing that you're just a liar and you have a whole other family but to have a whole other social security number i was like okay Something fishy is happening here. Something very fishy is happening here. Something's very fishy happening here. Anyway, so I sent her the photo. I sent her the photo of the paperwork that I have so she can compare to, compare to the paperwork that she had. She literally goes outside and she calls me and she's like oh my god like i don't even want this man in my house right now like we don't even know who he is for real and i was like well yes we kind of do we, michael bailey like it's a legitimate um it's a, a legitimate identity we just need to make sure that the social security numbers match is up to these identities one and we need to figure out like who both of these social security numbers belong to in the first place like Do they match up to him? Do they not match up to him? Like, that's what we really need to be figuring out right now. Hold on. Because I've been just eating all week.
so I was like, okay, I'm gonna call him Charles on the phone and see if she has like any like reaction to it. Like obviously Charles is his middle name, or at least on the birth certificate that I saw and on the birth certificate that she saw, Charles was his middle name. So I'm gonna call him Charles and I'm gonna see if she has like a reaction to it. So I was like, yeah, how are you? Like I haven't seen you in a while. Like I hope you're doing good. Like I've been telling Charles that we need to go up there and visit. Like family is everything. Like I keep telling Charles that. And she was like, Charles, who is Charles? And I was like, oh, Michael, like I've been calling him Charles lately. I've been going, he's like been going by his middle name lately. So I've been calling him Charles. And she was like, middle name. He doesn't have a middle name. I didn't give him one. And I was like, I'm so, I'm sorry. I literally said that. I was like, I had to pretend like I couldn't hear. Like, I had to pretend like it broke up because I literally froze. I was like, you didn't give him a middle name. Babe, Charles is on his birth certificate. Charles is literally on his birth certificate. Charles is literally on his identification. It literally says Charles. On my marriage license, it says Charles. I'm so confused. So, I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. I literally was silent for like five seconds and then I was like, I'm sorry. And she was like, Charles, like, like he doesn't have a middle name. And I, I had to play it off because I'm not really, I'm not ready to get her involved yet. So I was like, I know it's not his middle name, but like, it's his nickname. Like, we've been, it's, it's a thing. Like, it's just a thing. Like, I played it off because I didn't want her to get involved quite yet. And then I hung up with her and I was like, okay. I thought his name was Michael Charles Bailey. She thought his name was Charles Michael Bailey. We thought that we found out that his name was actually Michael Charles Bailey from my and from what I found and what she found. But then we called his mom and his mom said, he doesn't have a middle name. So now we're like, well, is the whole name real? Like what exactly is going on? 